Now for Channel 4's Who's New Season, the first in a new series. Deadline spent three months filming the news gatherers at Yorkshire TV for the stories behind the bulletins. Surprise to us. 
we know her over a long period of time, this is totally our character with her. Obviously, your wife, too upset to be here today, the whole family devastated. How are you managing to cope? It's not easy at all when you lose a child for whatever reason. It's very hard. Now, you're very keen, obviously, for Lindsay to get in touch to come home. Yes. What would you say to her if she's listening to these broadcasts? I would say, Lindsay, we want you home. Me and Jess and all the family want you home. We do. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
about this 
In fact, it's, it's a very it's a workmanlike place, as you can see, it's incredibly untidy. Uh, the facilities are rather scarce, there is there's very little natural light. It's not a glamorous place. And why people, why we think that it's glamorous for people to, to see the newsroom behind me or Krista, I don't know, because a lot of our viewers who watch Calendar will have spent the day in front of VDU screens. <laughs> and have come home and watched calendars to find more people in front of the VDU screen. I mean, the glamorous part is, is the technology which is through the door, where the machines are whirring and the monitors are flickering and the buttons are being pressed. I think that's the glamorous part of, of telly. If we go from grey into blue, a wide shot of lots of people eating cheese, can we find that somewhere in the middle? And the ever discerning cheese loving Yorkshire public. Yeah. And then before that, the um, security guard, just before that, was a good thing. Do you eat a lot of cheese? Yeah, I'm not, I'm good. You like it on top? Yeah. Oh, I like I it in any direction. You like it on top, so I like it in any direction. I think there's a sort of drip, drip, drip over the years that uh, if we are seen, the calendar presents us to be out and about in the community and doing things. and. Uh, getting our names in the local papers and on posters and physically being among people, it, it, it does a lot of good. Because, I, I mean, we'd be, we'd be terribly... If we just thought we could just come in here and pontificate and then go home again in our BMWs, I mean, those are the, the core of our viewers. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you ignore them at your peril. Imagine the kind of job that I have every single morning you start the day with a blank sheet. That means there are no pieces of paper. If you missed the story yesterday, then you don't do it the following day. You never know what's going to happen. Would you believe this morning I've been doing a very, very deep investigative piece on a brand new cheese? <laughs> 20 years I've been preparing for this moment as a journalist. It could have been a political interview, it could have been a crime story, it could have been an interview, I could have been reading the news at lunchtime. So, as a job, it certainly beats most of the others that I ever come across. Has any of you ever been in a television studio when a live program is going on? It's awful, isn't it? It's chaos. There's a gallery in the background, and in the gallery is a director, a producer, a production assistant, I don't know, a YTS who's watching, uh, a vision mixer, someone who operates the cameras, a sound person, and all of those can speak to you at any one time. One. On an earpiece. Two. Enter our wait for it. Thank you. Four. Three. Two. Thank you. Captured on video the last sighting of missing teenager Lindsay Reimer. Her father appeals for her return. Lindsay. If you have it in mind. Dana next. When it comes to folk in this region, we certainly know our cheeses from, well, our cheeses. For today for the launch of what's claimed to be the first mainstream cheese in 50 years. So in true calendar tradition, we just had to go and sample it. Oh, 22 on this. Out here can be quite boring. 60% of the cheese sold in this country is cheddar. Take your own first capture of the cheese. Right, are you going to cut it off in that corner where the knife is, Christy? Yeah, because I've got a close-up of that. Oh, oh, it's a bit difficult, actually. I've got the corner of it. It's a good place to cut, I would have thought. I'm thinking about the dangerous stuff in the cheese. I don't see why I have to do it. Well, if John is going to do it, then I need to change my shot, that's all. Mm -hmm. I don't mind, but let me know. You like it? Oh, no. Why are you not cutting anywhere? We've got some. Well, go cut it then. Oh, I'll right. do any direction. Stand by to control the closing end, please. Stand by. Ten on the end. Nine, eight. Coming up. What Two, seven, six, seven, six, five, four. I've never read it. Two. Well, there's a lot of your warrant to burn, does and it's right there. It is not wrong. It is not. Have you ever heard of that bungee? I haven't, no. Are oh, we going to taste it? Yeah, it's, it's sweating up under the light. Ooh. Very nice. Actually, it, it, it was quite fragile Nine, because eight, cutting cheese seven, is how you hurt your head. Five, eight, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye. Bye. Fifteen to one burn. That's brilliant. So simple. Ten to one burn. Nine. Thank you.
very much, everybody. You see, you made a drama out of that. <laughs> drama out of it. Thank oh you. Oh know, God, the Janets are here. It's like the Pied Piper. All the mice will be coming out now, telling everyone. Janets are there already. Off air, ten seconds, and they're already eating it. Oh, that's a bit Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I just hate to miss out, right? And, uh, well, that's, well, that's well, that's well, 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 the luxury features on the course of CDX, Basso said. Delegate, I say. Thomas, the electric windows. The man has a gift. The sunroof. The washing machine. I'm kidding. The CD player. La 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 la. So Thomas, how are we going to test Leather upholstery. Any ideas? The Corsa from Vauxhall. The small car with the big personality. Take a closer look at the American Express card. Because now, when you use the card, you can earn points by enrolling in the membership rewards program. Points which can turn into flights, hotel nights, dining, and fun. Maybe it's time you took a closer look at the American Express card. To apply for the card or to enroll in membership rewards, call us now on 0800 700 222. There is a tyre that combines grip and long life with a new outstanding feature. Up to a 5% saving on fuel in comparison with our standard tyres. Michelin Energy driving down the cost of motoring. A triumph in more ways than one, eh, Henry? Wasn't much older than you when I first opened her up. It caused a bit of a stink when me and Alfie, the boot boy, were caught doing 30 along the minstrel's gallery. At the Equitable Life, we never play fast and loose with your money. We pay no commission to middlemen, and we have no shareholders, so you profit from our principles. Right, Henry. Let's burn some rubber. It's an equitable life, Henry. The highlight of the 25th anniversary celebrations at DFS and Northern Upholstery. Buy this sofa, save £168, pay nothing till September, then take four years interest-free credit. Buy this settee, save £210, pay nothing till September, then take four years free credit. Buy this leather sofa, save over £270, pay nothing till September, then take four years free credit. There's a 25% saving on all special anniversary offers, plus nothing to pay till September, and four years free credit on everything. Don't miss the offer that won't be matched at DFS and Northern Upholstery. Colgate Total helps provide all-round protection and goes on working throughout the day. Colgate Total, brushing that works between brushing. Itchy, flaky scalp, relieved by tea gel. Treat your scalp without mistreating your hair. Boxel are giving away a year's free insurance on a Corsa. So with the money you save, why not buy one of these? For your friends, your family, your dog, come back! Place to do an early morning raid on um, football hooligans. But they are supposedly hardcore criminals. So there's always a risk of me getting injured. It helps if you work as a, as a fairly experienced journalist and she's going to look after you. So you've got to, we're going out with a number of officers, so any sign that they're going to come near us and, and they'll jump straight on them. I don't want to have to run. Oh, you have been doing this for a while, don't you? Kevin's got a... Uh, I'm afraid if it gets busy, the kids are going to be... Don't fall over, please. Okay. You'll cry if you've dropped your camera. Oh, no. Is it 
dropped it. Have I? They dropped it. I'm going to work again if I do. <laughs> If you wanted to cover him up, it would help us because he wouldn't have to be dating then. Well, I'm going to just go behind him anyhow. Alright. I'll just... Then yeah. you wouldn't have to be dating if it... Cool. Cheaper, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, it's just putting those silly green blobs on them. Yeah. Okay, whatever you want to do. I mean, if he doesn't want to, it's just him. I thought that, I thought he was wearing it. There's only two versions to be covered or uncovered. I know. I mean, it's cooperation with the police and cooperation, it. isn't it? Would you like him with a blanket over his head or oh, not? Oh, without. Um, um, can we have one with him and then yeah. pick
Thanks, Tony. That was a reassuring nod. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Chris is wrong. The donor raids are quite good. They've arrested 16 people this morning, mostly in Bradford, a couple in Huddersfield. Uh, and they've got shots of these people arriving back at the Nick in, in Bradford. We filmed it in such a way that everyone that appears is back view, so I don't think there's any real problems at all. Krista, I mean, I, Krista says it will make a, a, a nice piece. She doubts whether it, it's actually a lead. Otherwise, Lindsay Reimer, there's no apparent new line. I think there's a danger even on that story of, of, uh, of its outstaying, its welcome in the public attention, especially because there's going to be lots to say about it tomorrow. Well, his sister is playing the part, as it were, of Lindsay in this reconstruction, so we might be able to talk to her today. Well, from what I remember from the press conference, she has a baby sister who's 18 months and an older sister who's 20, so I think it's probably going to be good. We're just um, waiting outside the family home at the moment. The police are in there. There's myself, Luke North, uh, Ross Carey, photographer, and BBC Radio leads are standing outside here. So we're all just waiting for development. Okay, okay. Bye. Hello. 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 Can I just say that, that, that your presence is, is not assisting what we're trying to do? Uh, the family are getting very disturbed by seeing this amount of press and they're uh, suggesting that we're hiding things from them, that we know things that we're not telling them. There'll be nothing happening here at all today, so I would prefer you not to be here. They've got other things that the family have to do today. Uh, I have to try and organise uh, the elder sister Kate to try and put her in the frame of mind to be able to do what we intend doing this evening. So I think they've got enough on the plate today. Okay. Well, they're making it very difficult for us. Well, they can, yeah, but... They can also put the family back. End of day, what are you going to get? Yeah. Nick is telling again. Hello. Uh, one of the police officers who's with Mr and Mrs Romer has just been out and, uh, and asked us all to move on. Um, he's said that we're uh, upsetting the family and that there'll be no interviews from the family today. Um, as I said, we can go on and do some shots of the underwater search team if they're still working. Are you happy for us to just leave it, or would you like us to come back later in the afternoon, or should we leave it until tomorrow? All right. See ya. Bye. Right. What's the plan? Um, we, I'd like to do, you know, today shot of the house, maybe a pull out from the downstairs window from a distance, just so we can say yeah. something along the lines of the police have spent the day with Mr. and Mrs. Ramos preparing them for just what's going to happen. Just a shot of the house. So you can give is. me today shot of the house. I have to say, without, without it being apparent yeah, that, yeah. We're, okay. that we're causing them any uh, Fine. grief, as we've been asked not to. Is it possible for, for both teams to be in the same room at the same time? Well, we've also got some newspaper people I just don't... The newspaper people can, they'll have to wait. They're only, they're only interested to look north and calendar. Okay. The, the, the other problem is... But they want to do it inside and they want it to be brief as possible. Of course. Because Terry we'll, is uh, pretty emotional at the moment, as you can yeah. think. And she's, not, she's only gone in front of the television cameras yeah. once so yeah, she has. So what we're thinking is for Jerry and Dawn to disappear, well, possibly you can set both teams up first in, the, in their front room, mm -hmm. if there's enough room. Perhaps one of you can go in and have a look, see if that can be done. I, I had a look, because uh, I was there this morning, obviously, it's very small, very tight. The other thing is... One at a time, then. 
I would say I would find that because obviously as well there's slightly slightly different things to calendar because they did the interview yesterday. So obviously, you know, we um, will be yeah, asking some of the questions. Brief as obviously, possible. I think, yeah. Cause and yeah. The, the, the one point that uh, Jerry particularly mm. wants to get over is mm. for people in the area at the time to still keep to coming up. forward course, yeah. so course, the police yeah. can, the mm. way they're investigating, they okay. can eliminate. I think as far as I'm concerned, mm. um, I'm happy to go with whatever Jerry and Gordon want to do. If they only want to do it once and to do it both at the same time, then we don't have any choice, we'll do it once. If, it they're, if they're happy yeah. to do it, to do well, which, one, which one of you can come in and see if there's enough well, room for you both to do it at the same time? We're all here, aren't we? Oh, this is Keith, my cameraman, for yeah. calendar. Okay, so well, you come in, Keith. We yeah, would, just have you a know, quick check yeah. Yeah. Well, I would suppose it could be done one after the other. Because, just, you know, it's very small. Is it squashed? That's what I was um, worried about actually. Just give us a couple of minutes to set yeah, up. Yeah, totally happy. Yeah. Could we turn the gas fire off, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Could we turn the fire off? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's because we're going to both go in the middle, Helen. One of the designs yeah. of the design. Yeah. And then we'll get it under the gas, isn't it? So where are you going, Tom? We'll both go in the middle. We'll get out to see the calm death, yeah. Go on. Do I look out? Thank you, Mr. We'll, we'll be sharing the questions if that's all right. As you said, the reconstruction is happening tonight. What are you hoping will come out of that? I'm hoping that anyone who is on foot in Hebden Bridge, in the centre, along Market Street and New Road and also anyone who is in a car in the centre of Ebden Bridge to please come forward so that we can eliminate people. If you've heard or seen something great, do come forward, but even if you haven't and you think it's nothing, please come and tell us. If you were there, anybody in a car or on foot or if you saw a car, if you saw somebody, please come. Because we, we, we've got to get Somebody must have seen her. Somebody must have been there. Somebody must have seen her. Gordon, your daughter Kate is um, following Linda's footsteps, as it were, tonight. Mm. How is she coping with the, with the idea of doing that? Well, she volunteered for it. She uh, really wants to sort of participate in anything we can do to get people to come forwards. Um, she's not finding it easy. It's a week since uh, Lindy's disappearance. What are your fears now? We don't think we, about we, it. We can't. We hope. We don't, we can't. You have to block. Things like that. If somebody has got Lindy, if she has been abducted, and that's obviously what you fear, yeah. what would you say to that person? Please, please, let her go. Let her go. Or if you can't, if you put her somewhere, tell, tell us where you've put her so that we can go and get her. But please let us know where she is. Because this is, this is just absolutely killing us. I was also, I mean, as I said in the Yorkshire Post this morning, being some kind of whispering campaign. Now, obviously, that must be devastating. To cope with what we're feeling and to have then that on top of it gordon did the press things at first because i was totally incapable of doing it and what he got back is despicable and i say to those people that anyone who knows gordon knows that that is a load of absolute nonsense people are vicious and nasty if they can think things like that they certainly don't know gordon the parent I have every confidence and the police have every confidence that whatever has happened to Lindsay has not happened internally. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Thank you. See you, Dave.
is money, so how can Orange help you save it? We charge one second at a time for your calls with no rounding up. We include in your £25 monthly subscription 60 minutes of calls, one of five monthly price plans with minutes included. Call 0800 286 286 for full information about Orange mobile phones anytime. The future's bright, the future's orange. One of the masterpieces of American cuisine is the great American chocolate cookie. The main ingredient is chocolate chips and heaps of them. Come on, I'm coming. For that real American taste, McVitie's go all the way to Vermont. Oh, sorry, there are large milk chocolate chunks in every cookie too. You mean? Yes, from Vermont. Then McVitie's mix extra slowly. And so, a great American chocolate cookie from McVitie's masterpieces range. Oh, direct line. Direct line insurance. People come to us for the price, but they stay for the service. Call 01618392468 for motor or 01618398877 for home. <laughs> You see, some clients are completely and utterly obstinate. They always think they know better than you. Vericle Medical understand what it means to be a professional. That's why, since 1824, so many have come to us for pensions, investments and life assurance. Vericle Medical, the choice of the professional. Uh, biscuits, burgers, milk, coffee, two sandwiches, three, uh, two pasties, tea bag, tea bags, newspaper, <laughs> dog food, <laughs> dog food, crackers, cat food, cat food, four chips, cakes, steak, oh. cherry slice, oh, cherry slices. Uh, two pasties. Esso has more forecourt shops than anyone else, cat where you can fill up with whatever you need, milk, whenever milk, you need it. Coffee. Bit peckish, just a snack. All you have to do is remember what you wanted. People often wonder what an actor does when he's resting. Does he sit about all day, doing nothing? Well, I wouldn't know. Because right now I'm demonstrating the unique road handling system of the Citroen Xantia. It's the first steady job I've ever had. Well, there's been a fire in Scarborough. Do you yeah. know about it? Is it for you? I'm just coming now. Yeah. Yeah. Is it for you? Yeah. Okay. You can have it if you want. Well, it looked a bit sort of. Um, there weren't many flames on it, to be honest. Well, I'm not bothered. I mean, I've got two fires already. I think I might serve it. Well, it's got a fire see. section. Gone away. Bye bye. Now fires. Now fires. Here's a three minute bulletin about seven different fires today. <coughs> There's been a fatal on the A180. I don't no. think it's close enough to count for Emily. It's near, near Grimsby, actually. But we shall see. Stum, <laughs> Come on, you've been in here for an hour now. <coughs> what about me? I need to be there. My face is my as well as you. Yeah. From the moon. Luton. Luton. Oh, God, this book is driving me nuts. I shall get written in the bloody face. Anyway, you're talking about the exhausted from the book. Where'd your pal Liz Dawn last, on the last circuit? Right. And then, then Christa and I saw her to do in Bradford about in the summer. And she said, hey, he said, you know, I did that book. She said, I flung myself to death going around the country with that book. Yeah. And all I made out of it was right. 5,000 quid. <laughs> um, oh, well, I, I know, she said, I could have made more by telling the TV times about my new bathroom. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she copied that bathroom off me. <laughs> You're very frank. I mean, what I found that was the frankest, we can't mention it on the programme, no. was when you described how you had your first orgasm. On a bus. <laughs> yeah, next to that Roy, what's his name? Roy, yeah. Just by I didn't know I had an orgasm for 17 years. 
text to me was turning the telly up at half past nine and come on. Did they, have, did they have move? Did the bus squeak? Listen, I didn't come down to her for three months. <laughs> After that. <laughs> Look, you just got, can you come on the stage with me because you're on the opening shot? What, like this? Yes, you're right. Are you ready? No, I'm not going to crack off. Yeah, what else? Oh, have you got to get changed? What's this? Well, we haven't got a dressing room. Where's We've got, we do this one, we do, yeah. Where's your frock? Where's your frock? It's in the tent. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Keep out of here, Marcus, sir. What's going on? Bump. What's going on? It's what's coming off the of support. Oh, I see. You want to be good? Well, she's in great form. She's in what? She's in great form. But she's very tired, having been to Luke today. I thought she said she'd been to the moon today, but she said she'd been to Luke. Mm. So uh, mm. she's great. Yeah. Well, hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> They're on position, but I'm just looking for. Um, Did you change it again? <laughs> We've got the two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. I'm being told she will be there in time. Oh, no. On your mark, please, Richard. Right. Edit 5 this week joins the bar making new friends in Germany Ten, and battling through the nine, National Brass Band eight, Contest. Eight, Edit 5, five six, Thursday, 10.40 on Yorkshire. 3, wait for it, wait for it, 2, wait for it. 1. Take it. Hugh. Hello to you from me, Richard Whiteley and Gaynor Barnes at the Yorkshire Television News Centre. The main regional stories tonight on calendar. End roll. Hugh Richard. 14 arrested in dawn swoop by police four, after violence three, returns to haunt the football two, terraces. One. Can we make it? We'll do it in the morning. We'll have to forget first. That's it from the news desk. Don't forget to join us for the late headlines. Wait for my cue, Richard. Three, tonight. Now two, it's back to the news centre. Zero. Oh, cue, Richard. Five well, I described her earlier as the Yorkshire Rose, who became a Lancashire lass. Yorkshire Rose, she was born in Mockby, but Lancashire Five. lass, she's known as this. A former inhabitants of Weatherfield, anyhow. So welcome to uh, Lynn Perry. Hey, it's lovely being here, Richard. Uh, we've been looking at this book, uh, Lynn Perry's Secrets of the Streets, Two. which is torrid stuff, a lot of it. There's lots of One. stuff in here that you wouldn't want to show to youngsters. Is it? Are you saying it's all true in here? Every word. Five. Is it? Every Just word. Watch the book in I've seen too five, many please, um, people that have been on the streets or otherwise that have only done, and I've read their autograph, you know, and their autobiographies, and they've only been half the truth and I said well when I tell everything's coming out but as far as you're concerned will I ever come back to the no street? will you ever work for them again no never why uh, because it was me that asked to be killed I want to be free but let me ask you why did you have that lit job done and the, and the face I mean looking back what is a mistake to have that done uh, now people said I got the sack because that was nothing to do with it because that, 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 that was the second time I had it done you didn't tell him you were going to have it done. You suddenly appeared. You're a shop assistant. You suddenly came back on the on the scene with a two and a half thousand quid facelift. Uh, yeah, I had my eyes done four years ago and on that side. <laughs> but nobody bothered okay. yeah. because nothing went wrong. I've heard you say on the radio when you've interviewed that Stephen, your son, is very seriously alive. This is terrible for you. Seriously. He's just gone into hospital this afternoon. Yes. Yeah. Again, if you get uh, If I bang my head against that brick wall, so my brains come out. There's nothing I can do about it. It just must be intolerable to cope with. Uh, it's been a hard... I think that has had a lot to do with the, the way I've interpreted the character. And the way I've, you know, blinded myself with drink. I used to think that I was getting away from it all, but I wasn't. All right, well, we have to end there. We thank you very much indeed. Well, I, I, it's been lovely, and I, say, I hope that um, people do forgive me for things, but I had to tell the truth. Okay, you certainly have. Thank you very much indeed, Lynn Perry. Thank you, Lynn. Three, two, gainer. Well, now the latest from the calendar toy appeal. Remember, we want to help children with special. Thank you. Well done, that's lovely. Thank you very much. It's always a little quick in it. Well, it's fine. I know. Well, <laughs> we're lucky to get five minutes normally. It's I know, but this is a, Liz, Liz Dawn only had two and a half minutes. Jack Duckworth had two minutes. I got more. You got more. <laughs> 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 Look, and, and how many millions have said, where's the ferret? 
Oh, yeah, the one or two. <laughs> I'm not going to mention that, <laughs> Just sit here at the end We've with We've got a short goodbye. We're two short ladies tonight, Richard. Yeah. Yeah. Can I see you? I just sit here. I don't think you're in there. I'm just going to see you. I think you're Richard Wattles. Yeah. <laughs> so just a five percent good night. We'll just say goodbye. Uh, right. Right. Good night from me. It's good night from him. It's good night from me. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. It's five seconds left to say good night. So from you, good night. Good night. From me, good night. Uh, and from I, they are pal. Well, you weren't mic'd up, you but you could have shouted, shouted in tonight. Shouted down oh, so. Never mind. <laughs> Trying to keep you quiet. Well, it's I was impossible. Going to miss uh, Dan, Matt, but the fuel was done. Everybody, down. we're off. Thank you. <laughs> you need someone to ignite it. Yeah, you're in great form, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm never going to shut up. Right. Like I say, we have had a few calls on the subject. Um, I mean, I don't. I personally don't know what state she was in. Um, as she actually arrived, you know, only about half an hour before the program goes out. Um, but I will certainly make note of your comments and uh, and pass them on. But like I say, we have had a lot of calls. Okay. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Now, where's your man? Um, I'm obviously living in the car for me. <laughs> I'm Are you going to go change the distraction? No, no, I'm going to go on the way. Number five, <laughs> the uh, Lynn Perry interview. We've had several calls asking whether or not she was uh, the worst for drink. So, uh, so was he uh, captured quite a lot of attention. At least it proves people are out there watching. Lindsay Rymer's sister will tonight retrace her last known steps as part of a police reconstruction to help find the missing teenager. It's exactly a week since Lindsay disappeared from her home in Hebden Bridge after running an errand to a local shop. Tonight, Lindsay's sister will make the short walk from the family home to the spa store, hoping it'll jog someone's memory and help find Lindsay. I was really nervous and my heart was thumping. Um, it was horrible. I don't want to do it again. What, what do you hope tonight will achieve by walking on the streets? That it'll trigger somebody's memory, that someone will see either the jumper or, you know, her figure or something. If somebody knows something, what would you say to them now? That have a They've got to get Lindsay back. We've got to have Lindsay back. And if Lindsay was watching, what would you say to her? Come on. Thanks very much, Kate. Thank you very much.
you know, enjoy it. Okay, well, Joe's smiling. We might have a smile for you, Dennis Skinner, might we? It depends, if you get me on countdown. <laughs> <laughs> And our second instalment of Deadline can be seen next Monday at 9 o'clock. And the Who's News season continues tonight at 25 to 1 with Noam Chomsky's celebrated critique of media and democracy in manufacturing consent. How do the Americans do it? This is a news war and we don't take prisoners. A lot and fast. You must have action in the first 12 seconds. The suspect is running. Suspect is armed. Buses with big desks. He said, I am crazy. Let me explain to you why. Pretty faces, attractive income. A lot of money. Yeah, he's a psycho. He's a psycho. From TV news to tabloid views, lifting the lid off the American news media. Naked News starts Thursday at 9 on 4. Over on ITV in a moment, news at 10. Whilst here on 4 next, Sipowitz and Simone are on the case of a gay bar homicide in tonight's NYPD Blue. From around ten and a half thousand pounds, the Golf L. It comes with power steering. Immobilizer, just in case someone should try and make off with it. Driver's airbag, because you never know what's around the next corner. And two years free service and maintenance. Not that a golf takes much looking after, of course. It's on its way. Maybe to your home. A new arrival. A new Andrex. A more squeezable Andrex. Because it's a softer, thicker Andrex. Squeeze it and you'll see. New Andrex is strong, long and now squeezably soft. Discover a new world of holidays. Motoring holidays in Scandinavia, Germany and Holland sail Scandinavian seaways from Newcastle. For a brochure, call 0800 300 900 now. Cash. It's the lifeblood of your business and ours. At Gyrobank, over £60 billion a year moves through our cash handling service. That's about £1 in every four that passes through a UK till. So we can afford to charge less to handle your company's daily takings. Consider Gyrobank. We'll help take the sting out of your bank charges. Lurpak. <clears throat> Lurpak butter is made from a delicious blend of the finest creams. That's more like it. <clears throat> Drive the family wild in Turkey. Get a flavor of the Orient. You're not really thinking I'm going to eat one of these, are you? Meditate on the Isle of Skye. But don't be caught.